it's um, Thursday night and I was gonna journal at appointments throughout the day so I couldn't I couldn't come in the studio and journal a bit um, I finally made it all the tonight so I was reading through the devotional with your devotional I was wondering I was debating if I should uh, journal and focus on one of the daily readings today come after me would be like the meditation phrase and choose life we have to it's the 23rd today right right 23rd but i was looking um through the devotional to see if i want to focus on any of the scriptures here and this really uh this really stopped me in my tracks looking at the word they looked and how it occurs in the in the bible and i thought that might give give us an indication of what kind of look did jesus give peter right it would be so cool to see so the other occurrences of this verb might tell us a little bit maybe describe his look of course can put us on the right track and the verses are so beautiful it's just all full of love you know but here this is what it really moved me i didn't even think about this in this way Jesus in the process of laying down his life for his brothers out of his inexhaustible loving mercy. He looked at Peter and this look of sacrificial love stirred up Peter's heart in a way an angry look or judgmental look wouldn't have. It helped him not just repent but turn back as Jesus turned back to his brothers, you know, as Jesus first uh, foresaw. But so this is the verse. But I have prayed for you, Simon that your faith may not, fa may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. So I, I'm trying to imagine, he, hear him say this. It's beautiful, but I have prayed for you, Simon. So I was thinking, I mean, Jesus says the same thing to you, but I have prayed for you in your name. I have prayed for you, Ingrid, that your faith may not fail, and you have turned back, strengthened. Wow, so that, that really, 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 really moved me. It's so good to know that, that Jesus really calls you by name and prays for you. And to hear that, think about it that way, it's really moving, first of all, and then very encouraging. So I'm gonna focus on that right now because that really speaks to me so I want to kind of stamp that verse but to put more letters on there even though this is tedious taking the letters one by one and putting them by the way that's how they used to do newspapers they used to be all selected by hand and all put in those frames and stuff right in those trays must have taken a while but it helps you focus on the verse you see it again and slowly you know kind of those those words get stamped in your mind
Mm, that's good to know. I'm not sure yet what I would do for other art elements. Um, but this was just so uh, powerful that I just um, like to sit in it a little bit and think about it. It's really good. I was thinking for uh, the artwork. I, would, I, I really like this. The eye here. And I like it enlarged like this. So we have in... Um, in the media folder we have two of these images one is smaller one is larger but it still is not as large as the one in the devotional you have this in a digital format if you got a digital pack so i just uh, printed this out because i want just this enlarged when you don't see the other eye he's almost like he's looking at you when you have the other eye too, it looks like it's uh, kind of looking off, um, off the viewer, you know, at somebody else. But I like this because it's a more kind of, it looks like it's looking at you. So I wanted this little fragment here. So I printed it. My printer didn't print very well. I think I'm running out of ink or something. I'm not sure what's going on. but that's gonna be good enough for what i need here i printed it on sticker white sticker paper so i think i would have should have just ripped it instead i think i like that better than a straight edge So because it's actually a kind of a um, shipping label paper, so I had in the printer, I just printed it quick, so that works, because that's exactly what I need. The washi strips are in this... Um, pack along with the die cuts. I do you want to rip this? Let's see. Oh, it's gonna rip anyway. I want to see if I can take it off maybe with a heat gun. So if you didn't catch my post regarding the little price here for the um, postage you know how you see have 25 cents and so on you know I want to make it look like a postal stamp but it's like just putting five cents there or whatever you know it, it just doesn't mean anything so then I thought well what kind of measurement can I put there that it makes sense and then and I was just reading rereading about the manna and uh, how the Israelites had to collect it every morning right and um the measure no matter if they collected much or if they collected little ended up being an um, an omer for each person right each um, member of the family so so actually this is not the price you pay is the the grace you receive right is that omer of grace and spending time in the world every day it gives you that dose of grace that we need for our daily well-being and daily functioning so I, I really like that that has a meaning right and it's actually a very cool meaning I, I absolutely love that so I wanted to look at the washi strips I 
and um, I'm looking at the verses. This is Psalm 32. I'm with you always. Mm. Psalm 73. It's so beautiful. It moves me every time I read it. Yet I'm always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterwards you will take me into glory. Wow, that's just beautiful. That man. So, yet I'm as always with you. The same Psalm 73. So I really like this and it goes, it kind of goes with this. Just taking that harsh edge off. <clears throat> I like this, this stamp. Walk with God. It comes with a kit. I did put a very sturdy. I can't get that. <laughs> it keeps dipping in the. You know, in a way, I love working with this um, kind of bulky journals, you know, but um, I have such a hard time stamping in them because um, even though I have reinforcement, it's still. The chipboard is still uh, flexible. So. I should put maybe a, just a chunk of wood there. Like a, I meant a chunk of wood, a, a clipboard. For example, I think that would be sturdy enough. Just looking for something. A floral element to use. Or a cactus to use there. I think adding here or him there. It's a good. Uh... Good prayer or request. Tempting to add uh, some florals there. It's easier if you put them into something. You can see them better. Just remember, they never mentioned this anywhere, but this flower here in the devotional. <coughs> um, my 10 year old daughter drew that flower so that's her her little contribution to the kit so um i promised i'm gonna i'm gonna mention that so that's cool these white cut out die cuts look really nice on craft right like even this I love these uh, compositions that happen on your scraps. Just look at that. That's just perfect, right? Beautiful composition. 
And if I would try to make it, it wouldn't turn out that way. The spontaneous, effortless ones are best. So I'm gonna leave these hanging out. If I see that it rips and such, I'll cut it to the page, but for now I'll, I'll let it stick out the page. It's nicer this way anyway. Because the... <clears throat> The margins of the cover stick out so they, they protect anything that sticks out of them. So we'll keep it like that for a while. We'll love some white white crosses there. So I don't know if the ink I have will hold up. I can't even see it on the I, think I might have to try acrylics Actually, I don't even have white handy so it is just uh, it's an off-white Kind of spread it with the uh, card. I wasn't prepared to do any acrylic stuff. I would like some white though, some real white. So with, last year with the release of uh, the other land kit, come with me too, I had these floral, florals um, as an add-on uh, stamp and these go very well with these black and white ones that uh, in the die cuts that I have this year. They're just drawn, I drew them with the with the pen and ink and um, in a very similar style so you can definitely use those here so I'd like to stamp a few of these here I'd really like to stamp them with white put some white acrylic on the stamp I really like that. It gives it such a beautiful texture. I stand on the other page too. I think that's what, what's gonna be for tonight, uh, for today's entry. If you miss a day, if you, you can alternate, you know, using the devotional for journaling, or if you like any of the themes in there, or just use the daily suggestions, you can come back and uh, journal any time, or you can continue uh, beyond land on Earth other times with this because there is there is a lot of uh, content so i hope you're enjoying this i hope you jumped in it if not you can um, jump in at any time really you're still gonna reap the benefits of this beautiful process and of being in the world so thank you so much for watching i hope you found found this inspiring god bless you